There's no power in the Christian church. There's no miracles in the Christian church. If there actually was power in the Christian church, we know people would flock to it. It would be jam-packed, but it is not so because the church is nothing more than a religious scam. The church has been running the hugest Ponzi scheme on planet Earth. Right now, the Christians are going to the unbelievers for healing, and it's a shame. It's supposed to be the other way around, okay? According to the Gospel of John, Christians are supposed to ask anything in Jesus' name, and he'll do it. Is he doing it? No. According to the book of James, Christians are supposed to go to the elders of the church and receive healing. Is that happening? No, it's not. Why? Because Christianity is nothing but idolatry. And I've been exposing that lie right here in the house of David. Most people are scared. They don't understand that the Christian church is nothing more than ball worshipers. They're Paul worshipers. They're worshiping Jezebel. And that is Esau, and that is metaphorically going into the father and son, the father being Paul, and Jesus being the so-called son of the Christian church. The church has no power, okay? I taught the Christian church. Where is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the midst of you? Where is the healing powers of the Christian church? It is a scam. That's all it is, okay? Right now, you can go into the Quran, and the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told us that Islam would prevail above all religions. And right now, people are waking up. They are waking up. And right now, Islam is the fastest growing religion on the planet, as we know of. 2075, most definitely, Islam will be the largest religion on planet Earth. Now, the Christians have no power. You can see them in my comments talking about Muhammad, talking about the Quran, got all these hateful things to say about the nation of Islam when we are a religion of logic. The Bible says God is not a man. So that means God is not a man. That's simple, elementary, basic truth, okay? If God was a man, okay, he would have told us. But he said he is not a man, and he also says that he's not the son of man. Hello, according to the Bible, Jesus is not all-knowing. No, he's not. He doesn't know the day of his return. You want to know why? Because he's not God, okay? Now, the white man has been teaching that theology. He is responsible for 999 of the teaching we have in Christianity today, okay? Okay, okay, and that's okay, the truth, okay, okay, okay? Now, us blacks, we've been through slavery, and I'm not bringing it up to harp on it, but for some reason, we've been done wrong by this race, and now we expect this race to teach us the truth. They don't have it. Our Arabian brothers have the truth. They have the Quran. 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 They have the fiery law, okay? And indeed, in it is no doubt whatsoever. Now, these Christians have to do some explaining. They have to explain why they don't have miracles. They can't say it vanished because they still prophesy. Although Paul told them that prophecy would vanish. So these Christians have some explaining to do. How could you be called a Christian with no power of Christ? You're walking around deceiving the PPP. Now there are doctors that are making a mockery of the Christians. They don't believe in God and they don't believe in the Bible. And they'll tell you, what's up with these Christians? They're supposed to have miracles. They're supposed to have healing. They're all worried about cancer and all these things when they're supposed to have faith. I'm a doctor, and I don't believe in God, and I don't believe in the Bible, but yet they claim they do with no results. Now, that is the conversation amongst the elite doctors. They are worried and concerned about Christianity, and if it is a whole or not because there is no evidence you are a Christian there is not enough evidence to convict you of Christianity you have absolutely nothing okay you don't acknowledge Paul as your father when the Bible says Paul is your father in Christ Jesus so if you are in Christ Jesus Paul is your father 
This is what the Bible says. Now, Christians in the comments, they don't agree that Paul is their father. Why did Paul call himself the father if he wasn't the father? He calls his students sons, okay? He called Timothy a son. He called Titus a son. He called Philemon a son. He called Onesimus a son. Why? Because he is the founder and he is the true father of the Christian church. Jesus was speaking in parables. He was speaking in a parable. I'm going to tell you a big secret. Jesus swore by the life of Paul. Just like Joseph under the religion of Pharaoh. It's just that simple. You fail to realize that Joseph didn't swear by the life of Almighty God. Joseph swore by the life of Pharaoh. And the cup that he used was the cup of divination. And he planted that same cup in the sack of Benjamin because from Benjamin came the apostate Paul who tried to curse Islam in Galatian 1 and 8. Eight, eight, eight Although eight, eight, he was eight, unsuccessful. Eight, 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 you see, it is prophesied in the Quran that Islam would prevail above all religions. So what that means is Christianity is witchcraft. I dare you to pull out your Bible or go to the Bible app. Type in witchcraft. The first time it is used is with King Saul. The last time it is used is with your father Saul, whom we call Paul. Christianity ain't nothing but witchcraft. Christianity is all about bringing up a dead prophet. Now that's the truth. That's all Christianity is about. It is about bringing up a so-called dead prophet. Now go to the story in Samuel. This is what the first king Saul did. He tried his best to bring up a dead prophet. Now God told Saul to kill all the witches, and he was successful for a time. Just like Paul, he was killing the Christians. But then what happened? Saul got weak because God quit talking to him, and he found him a witch in Endor, and he inquired of that witch to bring up Samuel, and that's exactly what the wolf in sheep clothing has done, the false Abraham whom we call Paul. He is attempting to bring back the prophet Isa from the dead, but he can't because Allah took him alive. His name means salvation. Allah saved the prophet Isa, and it was only a made to appear to you that way because it is written, neither did they kill him nor crucify him, for Allah took him. Christianity is witchcraft, okay? It is the religion of Baal. It is the two golden calves, and I'm going to scream loud about it all day and all night. night That's night, what night, I've been night, called night, to do. Night, night. So don't copy, black man, because I know we love stealing. When you see the emblem, when you see the logo, people, when you see the man drawing the boat and aiming at the true king of Israel, which is Paul, you see that arrow stuck in the peak. God told us in the parable. He told us not to fight with nobody great, not to fight with nobody small. My war is not against the Israelite camps. My war is not against the Christians. My war is against the apostate Paul. That's the only man I'm focused on in this house. It is with the true king of Israel. It is with Ahab. We have to take Ahab down. Now, my Muslim brothers, you can get on board. My brothers who are non-Muslims, who are studying, who are truth seekers, we have the truth in this house. Our goal is to take down Nebuchadnezzar's image, the statue. Why? Because we are the stone that's been set up on earth. We are the kingdom of God on earth. We are the answer to Jesus' prayer. And our goal is to take down Babylon. And I'm going to tell you right now that Paul is the enemy of God. And it is written that Judah's hands shall be in the neck of his enemies. Our main goal and objective is to take down the wolf in sheep clothing whom Jesus prophesied about that will come after him with the false miracles, with the false signs, okay? This is the Jacob who was grabbing a hold of his brother Esau's heel. Who was the man who tried his best to steal the mantle of the prophet Isa, and he was unsuccessful. There's coming a day. When the prophet Isa will return to a world ruled by Edom. Edom is white people. Jesus will return to a world ruled by white people and he will destroy their religion, which is called Christianity. Assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth.